This is my beloved uh, 1990 Peugeot 205 1.45 die. It isn't too spectacular, but it's a, in very good condition. Now, as you can see, I've torn basically the entire interior, or rather the entire dash, apart because some uh, time ago it got to this weird issue where the parking brake like would just uh, randomly turn on and it would flicker and be all horribly annoying so for some time I just taped taped it over in order to get rid of the annoyance but yeah that's not the solution so at first uh, rattling this uh, p parking brake lever about it uh, I made the problem go away momentarily so I figured maybe the switch is stuck so I took that apart, cleaned it out, no sorry, it's fine so then I took the dash apart and checked uh, if there was a short to ground between the switch and the dashboard which uh, indeed there was not now then I reverse engineered the dashboard a bit and found out that the parking brake light can be turned on from two different wires, one of them being the last pin on that one and the other one being the second pin on that one. So I figured maybe there, uh, uh, this one was uh, shorting it to ground, so I figured maybe there's a wiring loom problem because there's, uh, there are some rather sharp turns on these cables and as you can see the French cable routing isn't really uh, the most tidy job. So I took the lower part of the dash out and started tracing the wire uh, which was shorting out to ground. And uh, I also took the undercover of this rather special fuse box out in order to check if there was a bad solder joint or some weird shot, which indeed there was not. And after some uh, more fiddling I found out that the cable didn't even run to this box, so taking it apart was entirely unnecessary. The cable did run to this connector and disconnecting it made the shot go away. So, I then figured out that the shot has to be downstream on this connector, which uh, runs on through into the engine compartment through here. And going to the engine compartment, uh, I noticed there's a green wire coming to this relay box, which is a bit weird since uh, you know, these, I believe, are for the headlights. So I took that apart, removed the relay, and there wasn't a cable running to there. Then I started digging around in front of here, where I know there's been some wiring issues uh, causing the horn not to work sometimes. But I can't really find the green, proper green wire, and disconnecting the cables here do nothing. And then I noticed there's a green wire coming to the brake reservoir. Uh, weirdly, this one has the yellow dots, which uh, means it's a different cable. But for now, this one is a plain green cable. And indeed, disconnecting that makes the shot go away. So, what do we have on the actual reservoir? We've got a danger sign there, right above where the actual level of the brake fluid is, so I wasn't aware of this car actually having a low brake fluid sensor, and that's what's been triggering uh, the parking brake light to come on. Um, yeah, this is just a pretty good lesson in just... Uh, uh, being a bit logical about your troubleshooting because I've just followed the entirely wrong route and I've done about two hours of work that I wouldn't have had to do if I'd had the common sense to check the brake fluid level before starting to tear half of the interior apart. Now, it's an entirely lost case. I've got a chance to add some more soundproofing to the components and fix a couple of rattles and replace a couple of bulbs but, yeah, most of it is going to be wasted labour. I do have some form of excuse though, since uh, I have somewhat recently flushed the brake system in this vehicle, and uh, the light didn't come on 
when you actually pressed the brake, which would cause the level in this reservoir to go down. But it just came on randomly during driving. So, for, we might actually just be dealing with a bad sensor in this thing. But given the rather low amount of brake fluid, I'd say we're probably dealing with a low brake fluid alarm. So, let's stop this off and see, and see if it goes away. I think it might actually be time to do another brake flush because this fluid looks quite nasty. Very dark and brown and yellow. Yeah. Since there's no back in place, and what do you know? The shorter ground is gone. So there you have it. Check the obvious first. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.